Hi, welcome to my tutorial series for the analysis of algorithms. In this video, I am going to explain how to solve zero and knapsack problem using the dynamic programming approach. Basically, the knapsack problem is a problem in combinatorial optimization where a thief carries a knapsack to keep the stolen items. Since he can carry only limited weight, so he must choose the right combination of weight versus profit of each item to maximize the profit. Dynamic programming is a bottom-up approach. So we will solve an array of smaller indices first, which means we solve one item at a time and then increase the upper limit of the weight from zero to the maximum load. For information, dynamic programming relies on the principle of optimality, which says that an optimal solution to an instance of a problem always contains optimal solutions to all sub instances. So in short, the formula for the partial solution is either it contains an item or does not contain it. I will explain it more when we discuss the problem. So let's solve 0 1 knapsack problem with dynamic programming. Here we have a problem of four items with corresponding weight and uh, dollar value. You can say profit as well. The maximum load is 10. To solve this problem, first we need to make uh, 2x2 two two matrix where we need to list down each of these items from 1 to 4. You can see we have i is equal to 0 as well. That means no item has been selected. This comes in handy when we solve this kind of problem. So let's begin. If no item has been picked, we have profit of just 0. So we write down zeros in here and in items picked we can say none. Now we pick the first item and let's see what kind of profit do we get? Since the weight is 5 and limit is less than 5, that means this weight cannot be lifted. So we put 0 as the profit until we reach 5. So once uh, limit is 5, that means thief can lift this particular weight. So we'll put a profit value which is 10 here. Even if we increase the limit to 6, 7 or any other number, but we cannot have more than one item in here because that's what this problem is all about. We cannot have more than one item of the same type. So items pick this, just one. Now we pick the second item whose weight value is four. So of course we won't be getting any profit until we reach at least four. Here we need to apply principle of optimality which says whether to pick an item or don't pick an item. So first what we do, we do not pick this item. If we do not pick this item, our profit would be previous solution, which is zero. If we pick up this item, of course the profit would be 40. And we also need to write down the profit from the remaining weight. So remaining weight is the limit, which is four, and the weight of this particular item, which is four. So the answer is just 40. Or you can say either 0 or 40, you will pick only 40. Next we have w is equal to 5. Let's see what value do we get. Again, remember we have to apply principle of optimality, which says whether to pick an item or don't pick an item, whichever gives the better value, we take it. So if we do not pick up this item, our profit is 10. If we pick up this item, our profit is going to be 40 because we have picked up this item plus profit from the remaining weight, which is going to be 5 minus 4. So 5 minus 4 gives us 1. So let's see where profit for 1 is. 1 is just 0. So we write down either 10 or 40 plus 0 which gives us just 40. Similarly, we'll get the same answer in here. So we can just write down 40 in here. Next is 7 and let's see what kind of profit do we get. So if we do not pick the item, profit is 10. If we pick up this item, so our profit is going to be 40 plus profit from the remaining weight, which is 7 minus current weight is 4. So here we are getting either 10 or 40 plus P3. 
so p3 is where p3 is still zero so we are going to get just 40 so this is our profit similarly we'll get same value for 8 let's see what profit do we get for 9 after applying the same principle either we do not pick the item or pick the item we do not pick the item we get 10 if we pick the item we'll get 40 plus profit from the remaining weight which is 9 minus 4 so here 40 plus p5 let's see where p5 is p5 is 10 so either we get i'm sorry 10 or 40 plus 10 which is 50 so our profit has increased this time now let's see the final value again our formula is not going to change we are applying the same formula whether to pick an item or don't pick an item so this time we are going to get 10 minus 4 which is 6 6 is also 10 so our profit is same which is 50 now we need to check what item we have picked since we have taken the right hand side right hand side means item has been picked left hand side means item has not been picked so we are taking the right hand side one that means item has been picked so we can simply write this item which is number two and it says 40 plus p10 minus 4 p10 minus 4 is p6 so let's go to p6 which is 10 and 10 is the first item so that means we have picked two items in here item 2 and item 1 we can verify this solution let's see what do we get in here so according to this particular partial solution if we pick item 1 and 2 we should get 50 let's see 1 is 10 2 is 40 total is 50 and is the solution valid that means is it less than 10 5 plus 4 is 9 which is less than 10 so this is correct next we have to take the third item and let's see what kind of profit do we get again as we did above we cannot get any profit until we reach the minimum value which is 4 here now again we are going to apply principle of optimality which says either we pick an item or don't pick an item and then get the best out of it so if we do not pick item 3 our profit is going to be 40 with this particular limit so our profit is 40 if we do not pick an item if we pick up this item our profit is 30 plus profit from the remaining weight so remaining weight would be the limit minus this weight 4 minus 6 that means we are getting negative value so of course this right hand side is invalid we cannot have it so our solution remains 40 Similarly, we'll get the same solution for w is equal to 5 and w is equal to 6. For w is equal to 7, we can check what solution do we get. Again, same principle, I'm sorry, 40 or, 40 means if we do not pick up this item. If we pick up this item, that is 30 plus profit from the remaining weight, which is 7 minus 6. So, P1. So, P1 is zero so that means our solution is still 40 we get same solution for w is equal to 8 so i can simply write 14 here for 9 let's see what solution do we get either we'll get 50 50 that means i did not pick up item 3 so that is the solution or if i pick up 30 my solution 30 means uh, third item so if I pick up third item, my solution is going to be 30 plus profit from the remaining weight, which is 9, this limit, minus 6. So P3, let's see where P3 is. P3 is 0. So my solution is 50. So I am taking the above solution. If we have the final value 10, let's see what is the profit. So I can just copy this formulation here 30 plus profit from 10 minus 6. So our profit is going to be 10 minus 6 is 4. So let's see 4. 4 is 40. 
that means either 50 is the better answer or 30 plus 40. Now we have something different, 70. So our solution is 70 this time. Let's see what items we have picked, either from left hand side or right hand side. According to this, we have picked right hand side. Right hand side means we have picked up this item. So we can simply write down 3 here, which is item 3, and 3 plus P10 minus 6. Let's go to P10 minus 6. 10 minus 6 gives us 4. So we are picking up this one. It's better if I can highlight these values so I know how to track these ones. So first one is 3, second one says this one, so which is 40. So we have picked second item. So I can simply write third item and second item. Finally, we have come down to the last item. Let's carry on with the same procedure. We cannot have any profit until it reaches the minimum weight. In this particular case, minimum weight is 3. So if we apply principle of optimality, if I do not pick item 4, so I have to be content with the previous solution, which is 0. Then the profit, which is 50, plus profit from the remaining weight. Remaining weight is going to be 3 minus 3, which is 0. So our profit is just 50. Similarly, we'll get the same solution for 4, 5, 6, for 7. Let's see what kind of profit do we get. Again, we are applying same principle of optimality, whether we pick an item or don't pick an item. So if we do not pick an item, our profit would be 40 for this particular constraint, which is limit of 7. So 40 when we do not pick an item, pick this particular item. Otherwise, our solution is going to be 50 plus profit from the remaining weight. Remaining weight is going to be 7 minus 3, which is 4. So let's see where P4 is. P4 is 40. So our solution is either 40 or 50 plus 40, which is 90. So we got some better solution here. Similarly, we can do it for 8. I'm sorry. 90 for 9 again it's 90 for 10 this is our final cell so let's figure it out what solution do we get just to summarize everything what we are trying to do here we are applying principle of optimality so we need to check whether we have picked an item or we did not pick an item and based on the profit level we pick the maximum value so let's do it here if we do not pick an item our profit is 70 if we pick up an item Profit is going to be 50 plus profit from the remaining weight, which is 90 minus 3. 90 minus, I mean 10 minus 3 is 7, which is 40. So let's do it. Either 70 or 50 plus 40, which is giving us 90. Finally, we need to check which items we have picked in here. So if I can highlight this to some different color, then it would be easy to track this. So here I have picked 50 plus 40 from right hand side. Right hand side means I have picked up this item. So I can easily write down item 4. Now let's track P10 minus 3, which is P7. P7 is somewhere here. That means I am picking up this item here but I have picked left hand side left hand side means I haven't picked up this item and I have picked this solution from the one above which is here now let's see what item I have picked left hand side or right hand side here I have picked something from right hand side that means I have picked item 2 so let me just write 4 and 2 so this is our final solution because it is giving us the maximum value which is 90 Others are giving less than 90. We can just see the last column. So according to this, 90 is the solution. So it says we have picked item 4 and 2. Let's verify it. Item 4 has value of 50. Item 2 has value of 40. 50 plus 40 gives us 90. And uh, the total weight is 4 plus 3, which is 7, much less than 10. So that's how we have solved this problem. Now, 
Is there any better way to solve this problem? Here you were required to find at least 10 by 4, that is 40 partial solutions. What if you have a problem with a larger maximum load? Do you have to cater for each threshold value starting from 0, 1, 2 up to the given maximum load? If you are wondering how to get a better solution, then see my next tutorial on the shortcut method for the 0, 1 knapsack problem. Thanks for watching this video. If you have liked it, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel to get similar videos. Thank you very much.